Hi all, my name is Nikki and today I'm going to give you an overview of what our brand new BricsCAD plugin has in store for you. With the plugin you can transfer lines, circles or rectangles directly to BricsCAD. You can also create surfaces and place your own customized objects or templates at the correct position in your point cloud. Last but not least, we've also implemented a few functions that will help you share your drawings with other CAD software. If you want to know how that all works, stay tuned. So with our new Bricks CAD plugin, you can directly transfer 3D information from Origins to Bricks CAD in real time in the correct position as it is in your point cloud. First things first, to establish the connection between Origins and BricsCAD, make sure to activate the full cut button in Origins and the connect button in your for Bricks interface. That's it, now we're good to go. So let's talk about the basics. We've connected the most important BricsCAD functionalities to our 3D point tool in Origins. So this will be your best friend going forward. Um, let's start with the most important function, the Bricks Cat Line tool. Um, in order to work properly with the architecture of the Bricks Cat software, we implemented the option to fix certain axes when we draw. Um, so let's say we want to measure the heights and distances of this floor, window and ceiling. Um, first, I'm going to fix the X and the Y axis and choose the Bricks Cat line tool. Now I can just start clicking the points with the 3D point tool in the panorama view. As you can see, the X and Y coordinate of the first point is picked here. You can see it here in Bricks Cat. And it stays the same for the other points because we fixed the X and Y axis, of course. So um, now the line and its segments appear directly in BricsCAD and in the properties you can see the exact distance uh, for example here from the floor to the window. Um, if you want to create a polyline arc or cycle the same logic applies here. Now, if you open the for bricks interface of the plugin here, you can see that there's also a line tool. Um, when it comes to regular and polylines, it works quite similar to the bricks cat line tool. Um, I show you what I mean with this layout. So to transfer the layout to bricks cat, I'll fix the Z axis this time here and click the line tool from, from the plugin interface. So now you can see you can select regular lines, polylines and multi-lines. Mm, I'm going to use regular lines here, but what I'm about to show you works with polylines as well. So now again, the 3D tool in Origins and we can start clicking the lines. As you can see, they're directly transferred to BricsCAD. And um, if you finished and you want to connect the intersection, you just press enter here in the BricsCAD command line and choose finalize intersection. So if you proceed just like that, you will create your first floor plan from point cloud data in BricsCAD in just a few minutes. But the real strength of uh, this tool shows when you choose the multi-lines option. So to demonstrate, I'll open this layout of a rafter I created with Origins. And so to create the drawing in BricsCAD, I choose multi-lines and again, um, just start picking the points here with the 3D point tool. So as a careful observer, you probably already figured out what's special about that. 
um, when you use the multi-line function you don't have to select the line tool again after creating a single line so you can just proceed without interruptions which is pretty sweet <laughs> so if you're done with all the lines um, all you need to do is use the bricks cat extent functionality um, to connect the beams to the margin there you go see piece of cake Okay, so those were the most important functions regarding the transfer and creation of line lines. And now I'll show you another nice functionality, the block tool. So with the block tool, you can place any objects or blocks from your templates to the correct position in your layout. Um, okay, for example, I'm going to create marks on the floor and the ceiling. To do that, I just open a layout I specifically created for this purpose in Origins and select the block tool. Okay, so now I choose my template for the floor and then I can start to pick the floor points with the 3D point tool in the different rooms. So as you can see, the height of the uh, points are automatically adjusted in real time and they reflect the point position in your point cloud. Okay, so same goes for ceiling markers. Keep in mind, um, you can use all kinds of templates here and insert any object you like. Of course, I can pick the points in the panorama view as well just like we did at the beginning with the lines. Okay, so another great tool I want to show you is the surface tool. It's really, really handy when you need to deliver uh, terrain models, uh, models along with your usual elevation and layouts. Um, okay, so, but please note, uh, this tool can only be used with uh, BricsCAD version 21 or higher. So to demonstrate, I have chosen a scan of a pit. Um, so basically you select the surface tool in the Fabrix interface and you guessed it, just start by picking points on the edge of the pit with the 3D point tool. You can see the network of triangles is automatically calculated and displayed in real time here in BricsCAD as we pick the points. So to get uh, depth information, you also want to pick the points on the bottom as well. And there you go. You just have created a terrain model of a pit in a few seconds. And now let's move to the last topic I want to talk about in this video, sharing your drawings for other CAD software. Um, some of you may work in a user coordinate software, um, especially if you draw elevations vertically. Um, but not all CAD software have the option to read and display these drawings correctly. Um, for example, Revit or Archicut. In order for you to be able to share the drawings with other professionals, we have developed a tool that allows you to transform your drawings from your own user coordinate system to the world coordinate system, which is a, a few clicks. So you simply select the UCS to WCS tool, then select all entities you want to transform and just hit enter in your command line. That's it, transformation completed. And another thing you might want to do is flatten your heights if you are drawing on the Z axis or just um, simply forgot to fix the Z axis in the first place. Um, that's also an issue when sharing your data since again, software like Reddit might have trouble reading and displaying your drawings correctly. So you can flatten the heights just by selecting the flatten tool, then selecting the entities and hit enter just like we did with the coordinate system. And if you go to front view now, now you can see that all objects are on the same height. 
So that was our little overview of our brand new for Bricks plugin. We hope you like the plugin and it will simplify your workflow. If you want to try it yourself, please go to our website and get the free trial version. Um, if you download that version, you get origins and all the plugins we have available and you can choose which one you want to download. Also, if you think you have a nice functionality that you want us to add in the BricksCAD plugin, leave us a comment or reach out to our support team. And in the meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. PointCab. All point clouds, one software.